managing the Cisco ASA. Now we can manage the Cisco ASA either by the command line, by using the command line just like we do it on the routers. So I can I can connect the console cable to the console port and we can manage it via console or if you have some IP connectivity uh, to the Ethernet port, we can we can still manage with a either by using a telnet or SSH. So SSH is more preferred way to do the remote access because it, it's something encrypted compared to the compared to the telnet. Now we can also configure the ASA to be managed via graphical interface because most of the basic configurations we will be managing by using the command line, just like the basic IP configuration or some kind of routing or any other things. But if you're going to many advanced configurations on the Cisco ASA firewall, probably will be managing via GUI. So, but again, if you want to manage the GUI, we will be using something called ASDM, Adaptive Security Device Manager. And of course, we need to do some kind of basic configurations on the ASA for to for the ASA to support the ASDM or the graphical management. Like uh, we need to enable some HTTP services. We need to do some uh, basic configurations like username and the passwords. We need to have some IP connectivity, and also you need to have some ASDM uh, file. We need to be installed inside the Flash. Now this is something I'll be covering uh, more in detail in a separate session where. Uh, you'll see how, uh, what are the basic configurations you have to do via GUI. So initially we'll be uh, assuming I'm using a console and then we'll do some basic configurations. And once we do the basic configurations, we will be covering some another lab where I'll be showing you uh, if you want to manage the ASA via remotely by using either Telnet or SSH. Here also we need to do some basic configurations like you need to define uh, which networks you want to allow, something like that. So the console, you know, these putty applications, you can use secure CRT or hyper terminal. Uh, most of the Windows platform nowadays do not support hyper terminal. We can use any of these options. Now the GUI looks something like this, but I'll be covering uh, more on the GUI, ASDM interface with the configurations later on in detail. 